Ryan, you are my best friend. The, the person, person that gives me the strength to conquer anything. The shimmer to my stain. <laughs> <laughs> and my favorite person to wake up to in the morning. I love the man you are showing our son to be. I love how passionate you are about giving Donnie and I the best life possible. I love that you eat my trash can chicken. <laughs> and <that> Long story. <laughs> and that you smush me every time I'm getting anxious. I knew there was something different about you, about us. The more I got to know you, the more I was drawn in. I was addicted. I fiend for your embrace, the only medicine for my fears and anxiety. John Strange, a.k.a. Uncle John, along with my wife, Wendy, welcome you to our home and to the marriage celebration of Ryan and Courtney. Courtney, just saying I love you will never be enough. When we first met, I would have, <laughs> would have never guessed we would be here today. One of the things I love most about you is the, your ability to make me want to be a better man without having to do anything. You never once have tried to change me, but you've always made me want to change myself. A lot of people don't know my story, but Courtney, I can honestly say you saved my life. You truly are the most amazing person I know, and I thank God every day he puts you in my life. You not only showed me what true love is, but more importantly, you showed me how to truly love myself. I promise to love and cherish you every day. I promise to stand next to you in every aspect of life. I promise to continue to call you beautiful every day. And most of all, I promise to fight for us. No matter what life throws at us, in you, I have truly found my soulmate. All right, got that down. That's all I was nervous about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Yeah. Our time has just begun to rise anew. Our world will come undone when we. I, Ryan Caesar Ballesteros. I, Courtney Nicole Cloud. Take you, Courtney Nicole take Cloud. Take you, Ryan Caesar Ballesteros. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have to a duel for, for richer or poor in, in sickness and in health. health. To, to love, love and, and to cherish, cherish until death until do death us part. Do part. With this ring, With this I, ring, ring wed. I thee wed. Courtney, you're more than just Ryan's wife. You're more than just Donnie's mom. You're an awesome person, an awesome family member, and I'm proud to finally call you my sister.
vow to always reach my foot over to touch you while we sleep. I vow to always tell you to drive safe and don't look at your phone when you're leaving for work in the I vow to be the best mother to our children. I vow to always be your number one fan. But most of all, I vow to trust, respect, and grow with you each day for the rest of our lives. In you, I have found my home. <laughs> we did damn good. <laughs> By the power of your love and commitment to each other and by the authority vested in me by the state of California and as a licensed minister of the Father's house, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan, you may now kiss your bride. And I met Ryan uh, a little bit before I met Courtney. We were freshman, sophomore in high school. He was running around and all kinds of girls in the back all the time. And, and, and we, we didn't instantly click, but we were always around each other. And throughout the years, again, our friendship grew and we went through some heartache. We went through trials and tribulations of life and changing as people. And Ryan, no matter what happened, he continued to keep a smile on his face and he was always again there for his friends, there for his family, and there for the people that loved him. Um, as a couple, you guys are literally my best friends in life. I do not have better friends than the two of you. I have, I've never seen two people that are so meant for each other. So glasses up. Cheers to the Ballesteros family. Cheers to all the families here, all the friends. We all love you and we wouldn't be here without God making all this possible for us right now.